Yeah. I am just gonna straight up, like, apologize. I don't even know what has been happening to my life. Like, I'm a second semester senior. I'm not that busy. I'm actually not that, but somehow I am. Somehow I am, because I have, like, no classes to worry about. I'm in rash this school, so it's like, I have no history. French is, like, a joke. I have medals and a free block. Like, I don't do things with my life. Okay, computer, really? Are you going to freeze on me right now? Okay, anyways. Yet somehow, like, I just, I'm like, busy. How is that possible? I don't know. I just, I do things during the day that are not school, and somehow I get busy. But yeah, I kind of suck. I really suck when it comes to doing this. Like, I, don't, I feel so exhausted by the end of the day. I just kind of come home and then I sleep. I don't even, I don't know. I need to, like, kick my life into gear. I feel like I'm, I'm becoming complacent. I fear complacency. That is what I fear. I feel like, what is it, Thoreau? Oh yeah, men who leave li who lead lives of quiet desperation. That is what I fear. So I'm not going to do that. I am going to do things with my life. Anyways, yeah, I decided to film this before watching your videos because I was like, if I try to watch your videos, then I'll be tired and I'll be like, I'll film tomorrow. And then that'll be another three weeks before I film. So I was like, I'm just going to do this now. And I'm going to keep this under 10 minutes for sure. Anyways, okay, updates on my life. I gave my senior speech, and I guess I'll probably, like, post a link in the comments or something, but, I mean, you've seen it, and pretty much everyone I know has seen it, but it was, it was awesome. I, I mean, like, the speech was fine and everything, but, like, the experience was awesome. Oh my god, I'm so glad I did it. I am so, so glad I did it. It was actually amazing, and I'm so glad our school, like, offers that opportunity. It is wonderful. Okay, um, midterms went all right. That was fine. Like, I got actually all A's except for a B minus in Gov, which I was kind of expecting, and then a B plus in Calc, so not bad. Um, I'm applying for the Honors College at Michigan, so I have to finish my essay for that. Uh, I dyed my hair violet. I don't think you can really see it here, but it's, like, kind of weird because I'm so used to my hair being this, like, light brown auburn color, and now all of a sudden it's, like, really raveny kind of, like, it's got this dark sheen and it's all dark now, so I'm like, oh, okay, that's different, but I'll get used to it, I'm sure. It's kind of fun. Um, other things, I, I, like, had a whole list. Oh, I was gonna tell you, I heard, um, them playing Frozen music on the radio the other day, and I heard the intro and I was like, they're playing Let It Go on 98.7, and then, of course, of course, it's the Demi Lovato version. I'm like, why do you even sing? Why did you sing this song? Adina Menzel sang the song. We did not need you to sing it too. You can just, you can go home now. Like, don't play that on the radio. Play the actual version. Um, oh, oh, I did get a gold key portfolio for Scholastics and then three silver keys individually. So those long hours of me, like, crying and having panic attacks in the metal studio paid off, and next Tuesday I will be going down to the DIA and they have like an award ceremony or something, so that'll be fun. I'm really glad that that all worked out. Um, I have a bunch of boxes on my bed right now. Look at these. These are like from Urban Outfitters. They're wire hair ties. Like, I haven't gotten a chance to try them because they, they just came today, but I've been eyeing them in the store for a while. See, I don't, they just like, they're wire. So I don't really know how they tie hair, but I'm probably going to end up using a hair tie and then use these as like my hipster looking hair. They're like basically hipster hair ties because hipsters can't use regular elastic. They have to use wire. That's a thing. But yeah, I ordered a bunch of stuff for like Valentine's Day gift because I was like, I'm going to be the coolest girlfriend ever. I'm going to do stuff with like, uh, I bought some records, like old Red Hot Chili Peppers records. And then I'm going to, like, I think I might do something with, like, lyrics or, like, kind of add my own twist to, like, the cover art and then frame them. Because he's, like, obsessed with that band. Hope he never sees these. I don't think he... He, like, watched a few one time because I told him I had a YouTube channel. So, yeah, I hope he doesn't see these. Um, Things have been going well with the boy, though. It's been, like, three months now. We had a family dinner the other day that was, like, an insanity. It was madness. Because you know how, like, there's, like, meet the parents, and so you meet each other's parents, but then, like, we got our parents to meet each other, and I was like, what is happening to my life? But it went really well. Like, they all bonded and clicked, and I was like, look at us. One happy Asian-Russian family. 
the waitress made some like really awkward slightly racist comments about like she looked at them and then she looked at us and then she was like huh it's crazy you know the people you might become friends with and I'm like I feel like that was racist why did you say that out loud but anyways oh and I was hanging out with his sister the other day because we're besties like that love his little sister she's so cute and she was like asking if I had a YouTube channel I was like I do and then she was like what is it and then I told her I didn't even like tell her what it was I was just like it's called leftovers and so then at dinner she told me she watched like two episodes and I was like what were you like bored out of your mind because it has nothing to do with anything it's literally just us talking about our days but I guess if you are watching this then shout out to Maria um other things oh I'm talking at sophomore college night tomorrow because apparently people go to those things I remember going to freshman college night and I like took notes like little freshman loser I was like I took notes on the whole thing and then um sophomore college night I think I went but okay sophomore year I was probably like sleeping I think I hung out with Anjali or something and I just like slept on her shoulder it was so boring junior college night we went and then my friend and I hung out in her car the entire time and there is no senior college night because senior year oh god what is life but anyways yeah so the college counselor picked me and some other people to like talk about things so I get a mic and I get to go up there and like sit and people are gonna be like oh my god listen to the seniors like it's so funny looking at it's like the students are kind of chill about it they're just like college yeah naviance what is that but the parents dude they're like they're insane they're like hanging on to your every word they're like oh my god I have to write all this down this is super important for college and I'm like oh you poor poor naive parents you don't even understand the college process yet do you uh, feels good to be a senior have that all out of the way um, 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 um oh well if you saw on Facebook I did I did have a little mishap with my car once again I mean I've hit many stationary objects. I've hit, I think I ran over a fire hydrant once that left a nice red mark on my Subaru Tribeca. And then I think I've hit two stationary cars. The first one we had to like kind of pay out of pocket for damages because I just kind of scraped her car. She parked really poorly. No, it wasn't her. It was the person next to me. So I was forced to like get really tight next to it. It was an accident. And then the second person, I, I think I bumped into them, but then I got out of the car and I was like, there are no visible scratches. So I think it's like morally okay to just kind of drive away, right? Like if there are no scratches, please tell me that's a thing. Okay, moving on. And then um, I was dropping my friend off at his house and he didn't shovel his driveway. And so it was really snowy and I was backing down. And it started like slipping and then I slipped over the snowbank into a tree. And then the entire side view mirror. But oh, wait, 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 wait. I have it. I have the side view mirror. See? See, look. Objects in mirror are closer than they appear. Yeah. My poor baby. And there's a dent in the door. So I haven't driven for like two weeks. It's actually, I don't know how you do it in college. I guess because like you get to walk and like take the train and stuff. So you're still being like independent. But I've been having my mother drop me off at school for like two weeks and I kind of just want to die like I feel like it's slowly eating away at me just not driving and the one thing I miss most is I can't jam in the car you don't understand when I am in the car it's like I just I let go that is what I do and sometimes I sing let it go in the car and it's really fun I sing like everything like literally everything if it's on the radio even if it's like a shitty song I don't like I just I sing it anyways at the top of my lungs and I pretend like it's I'm at like I don't know the garden or something singing in front of a billion people and I'm like yeah I'm gonna rock this I miss it so I've been like jamming at my house in the shower and like in my room at night while everyone's asleep and I don't think they appreciate it because sound really carries in our house for some reason anyways okay um, other things. I'm gonna try out one of these hair ties while I'm doing this. Um, oh my god, I said I would keep this under 10 minutes. Okay, um, wrapping things up. Um, I can't think of anything right now, so I guess that means I'm, like, done? Probably? Yeah, and I just, I wanted to, like, apologize for all these, like, 
I don't know, I feel like I'm terrible and really flaky and I don't keep my word, which is all true, but uh, I'm sorry. Things just like life gets, it happens, like life just keeps happening and things are so busy and you, you told me when you were coming home when I talked to you on the phone, but I don't remember when. Anyways, I'm excited about the fall and our stars coming out like, oh, this actually kind of works as a hair tie. Not bad. Not bad, hipster hair tie. Anyways, okay, yeah. I'm gonna head out and watch your videos. I am gonna do that and I'm gonna upload this. It's gonna be wonderful. I'm gonna actually start doing this. Just like I said, I was gonna get abs, but I will get abs. So yeah. Oh, oh, the other major thing. I'm gonna learn to play ukulele. Cause we're going to Maui in like two weeks. And so I was like, I'm gonna go to Hawaii and buy a legit ukulele and then I'm going to learn to play it and it will be amazing. So yes, that, that is enough on my life for now. Time to go catch up with you. All right.